Hi, I just wanted to share my solution for portably charging the DJI Mavic Air batteries while you're in the middle of nowhere. If you're like me, uh, you want to take your drone camping, hiking, fishing, and uh, backpacking, and that's why you bought this compact, um, travel-friendly drone in the first place. Uh, if, again, like me, I was looking at the DJI Spark. It had the advantage of charging its batteries with a... Um, USB power bank, but for whatever reason, maybe just to get you to buy more batteries, the DJI Mavic Air can't be charged with a USB power bank. It's very specific. It wants to be charged at 13.2 volts and 2.1 amps. So ultimately my solution was to make this adapter so I could use my power tool batteries to charge my Mavic Air batteries. And the way it works is this is an 18 volt power tool battery. It's built solid. It fits in the bottom of your backpack, takes a beating. Like I said, it's for power tools, so it's not going to break on you. And I've used this thousands of times and charged it millions of times. And this thing's a four amp hour, so it can charge two Mavic Air batteries. It charges in 30 minutes. It has this little convenient button to tell me how full the battery is. And like I said, I have a bunch of these laying around anyways, so it's not like it took me extra money um, to uh, invest in some charging solution for my batteries. And the terminals are here, positive, negative, and like I said, it outputs at 18 volts. And basically I bought this buck converter, B-U-C-K, off of Amazon. It can convert voltages down. And so what I have it is set at uh, 18 volts, converted down to 14.1, 14.0 volts, because that's what I was measuring out of the car adapter um, cigarette lighter in my car. Why it says 12 volts, I don't know. It was measuring 14, so I set the output voltage to 14. Ends up not being a problem because the output voltage goes to this, which is um, I bought off Amazon for $6. It's just a female adapter, 12 volt power supply or uh, cigarette lighter. And ultimately what plugs into it is this car charger for the Mavic Air batteries. And again, this car charger has an input voltage of DC, direct current, 12 to 16 volts, uh, up to six amps, and that's perfect. So, you know, setting it at four, this output at 14 volts is right in the middle of this range and it works. And it outputs at the 13.2 volts, 2.1 amps, two times, because there's two battery terminals. And then it also has this USB adapter so that you can use any USB device. Like I can charge my phone, for example. And so let me just show you how it all works. Basically, this has two screws that you basically just screw in until they fit perfectly snug around these two terminals and it just sits in there nice and firm and it automatically kicks in. The fan starts spinning, the voltage is there. All I have to do is plug the car adapter into this cigarette adapter. You can see that the um, you can see that the LED indicator is on. All you have to do is plug the batteries in and it will start charging. No matter what, it always takes about one hour to charge the batteries. And uh, if I charge two at a time, it still takes one hour. If we want me to demonstrate Pat plugging in the USB, you just plug that in here. And if I plug it into my phone, it'll start charging my phone as well. All right, when I'm doing this much of a current draw, the buck converter's voltage meter starts jumping around a little bit, but like I said, I timed it um, charging one battery and two batteries, and no matter what, even though it's jumping around like that, it still takes an hour. So how much of an actual effect that has, I'm not sure, but for peace of mind, I've been just charging one battery at a time anyways. Um, so a little bit more details about this adapter. This adapter, like I said, is just a PVC pipe I had laying around, put in two screws, and then um, harnessed, you know, secured the buck converter circuit to the PVC pipe with just nothing more than zip ties. None of this required any soldering or anything. And um, the there's a wire going from this bolt to the, in, the input voltage. It comes across, you adjust this little screw, so the output voltage is 14.0, 14.1 volts and then the output wires go to here so that you can uh, have a on-the-go cigarette lighter and you it also goes to the fan to keep everything cool 
The reason I had to add the fan is when I first used the buck converter, there is a, the whole circuit heats up and then there is a fault device that anytime the temperature gets too high, the whole thing shuts off to you know, protect itself. And put on the little heat sink. This heat sink is just attached very flimsily by double-sided tape. And it's not like that thermal conductive paste that you attach heat sinks to CPUs with. So it's really not doing too much. And with the heat sink, it would still charge a little bit longer, but over, over, in the end, it would just overheat. So I added this little CPU fan off of Amazon. It's only $4. Sits on there, covers the whole most perfectly. And it keeps the whole system cool. I've charged these batteries, you know, one hour, no problems, no overheating. Charge two batteries, no overheating. It works great. So a little bit more bulky than I'd want, but like I said, it works. And I've already taken this camping, hiking, fishing, backpacking, and it, it, it survives. It's a very durable. There's not very many moving parts. And so it's hard to imagine how it would break, but it works great. Like I said, it just slides right over the top, turns on, charges. The only issue is you have to watch it because if the battery's full, this fan keeps going until the battery's dead. But like I said, as long as you watch it, it'll you know, unplug it just like that, piece of cake. So if you have any ideas or comments about how to improve this system or anything I should do different, let me know in the comments below. I like this solution because, you know, if you just buy a bunch of Mavic Air batteries, eventually when you buy a new drone, those batteries are going to be useless. But if the batteries just have a different charging voltage this thing can be uh, changed if necessary or just buy a new car adapter and plug it in leave this thing alone and uh, this one will work fine so again this is not the best solution or the only solution but it's better than the only other solution i found out there which was to buy a big power bank with that has like different usb outputs and even a wall um like 110 110 volt alternating current socket because that's not feasible to carry around hiking or camping. That thing is too big and too heavy, takes up too much space, and it's not like this uh, compact small solution right here. And like I said, I have a bunch of these batteries laying around already, and that device is already very expensive. So this whole thing cost me, I think, $22 for this adapter, which I had, $6 for this, $4 for that, and the buck converter is only $7. So hopefully this helps or at least inspires you to create up with uh, come up with your own solutions. Um, that's what YouTube's all about. Take care.